What is the reason for absolute skepticism, asks Marina. Here is an example. My mother is a healer. I myself can't imagine my life without magical knowledge either. We had cunning folk in our lineage. My sister, on the other hand, reacts aggressively to any kinds of unkosher information, from astrology to magic. She mocks and gets angry at everything that's not related to religion. She doesn't follow any religious traditions, but as customary, she congratulates all believers upon religious holidays. Well, that's how your magic dictated the terms, that it wasn't meant to be shared equally. Perhaps your sister subconsciously understands that this is a gift she's been deprived of. This example, by the way, was very well described in Harry Potter, concerning the mother of the main character, the boy Harry, and his aunt that he happened to live with. Aunt and mother were siblings, but one inherited magic abilities, while the other did not. And all of her hatred for this child was pretty much addressed towards something she'd kind of already forgotten. It is not her destiny to become a wizard. And all of a sudden, this child is dumped on her, so to speak. And he constantly reminds her that she is who she is, and will never become like her sister, who she was so desperately jealous of. And now, this newly born brat doesn't even want to be a wizard as badly as she used to, and yet it was handed to him. It may well be that your little sister has the same subconscious reaction. And the fact that she converted to Christianity as a sort of compensation, as a protection for self-justification, it's quite obvious. A person has to feel needed and important somewhere. So don't get mad at her, focus on developing your own abilities. Look at her as if in a mirror. If she's angry, it means you're doing well. Coming from that. And using this very algorithm. That some people have it, and some people don't. Magic decides for itself, whose mind is best to make itself at home.